Well, hello, good evening, and welcome to everybody who has joined us, regardless of where you are, or indeed what time it is with you all over the globe, as we bring you this most glamorous of clashes between two sides desperately chasing the right to contest the ultimate prize in club football. This competition has provided us with so much unforgettable drama since the first qualifiers began last summer, and I am certain there will be plenty more to come in the last few. It is semi-final day. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. So, just one more step for a date with destiny. Few games come bigger than this one. Yeah, and the first leg of a semi-final, uh, you can't guarantee passage into the final, obviously, just yet. But you can make life quite hard for yourself, Peter, second leg. So, you've got to expect it to be tight and tense. This atmosphere sounds perfect for the occasion. And it's a case of, of releasing your best now and just finding a stronger edge, letting the opposition know what you're all about. And it's going to be tough next time round, too. So it's down to business here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Kaylor Navas, he could make all the difference because he's such an excellent shot stopper. It's not just a matter of reflexes, though. It's the way he spreads his body in front of the ball, preventing strikers from getting a sight at goal. He also hardly ever makes an error, and that's precious for a goalkeeper. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Tracks the fits it away. Bavani looking to penetrate opposition lines. Trexler. Marco Verratti. Quick glance at goal. A oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Marco Verratti. Good clearance and very necessary. Dagba and the Herrera and the Herrera all's loose, who's getting there? Rafa Silva has gone out and it's Verratti Marco Verratti. And here's Cavani. Chance! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. Benfica seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. Huh? Oh, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Seferovic over to the left. Keira. Mbappe hits one! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled.
Paris Saint-Germain take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Across the field it goes. Well, that's where he wants it. Now it's Seferovic. He's left his man. Lovely bit of skill. Into the box. That's a case of crossing and hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Marquinhos is there, and he can get that clear. And the Herrera. Deftly done. Keeps everyone guessing. Hit. Diving header! Brave effort, total commitment. Well, he can't be accused of not being brave, Peter, and his boss will give him the thumbs up, I'm sure. Hoists it forward. Kira. And it's Herrera. And it's played forward. Samaris. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Helps available out wide. And back out it comes. Samaris. Tries to dink it in. Oh, real danger here. It's one! Marco Verratti. Paris Saint-Germain are ahead here, it has been a good half for them. Half time getting close now. Rafa Silva plays it out to the wing. Marquinhos and the Herrera. <laughs> Rafa Silva. And the half time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But half of still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the frontmen for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back, too. They work tirelessly for me. Paris Saint-Germain leading 1-0 at the break. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Paris Saint-Germain going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit. But they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Pitsy. And it's Verratti. Kira. Thiago Silva. Dagba. Draxler. And 
here's Cavani with a shot. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Talk about singling someone out. Peter, I can't stress enough the need to get to this fella quickly. They can save themselves a whole lot of hassle. Herrera has created one goal already. Danger averted for now. So we've reached the hour mark. The question, that's a foul. And he's going to have his name taken. Herrera. Keira. And the Herrera. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire a commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. And the Herrera. Herrera goes looking. And it's Silva. Pixie loses his balance and loses the ball. Marco Verratti. Cavani. It's Cavani! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. Paris Saint-Germain really putting a few chances together here. Taking one can only add to such good momentum now. Seferovic. Played into the middle. And he's there to clear it. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Has a hit! He has done it! Two to the good! They have breathing space! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Paris Saint-Germain take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Just brushed off the ball there. Played into space out wide. Samaris, and here's Rafa Silva. Rafa Silva clips one through. Lunier gets it away. And it's Draxler. Draxler. Into opposition territory. Shapes to shoot! Could fall kindly. They are rampant. And they are cruising away. Cavani was quick to move in. Keeper's handling wasn't great. 
I doubt he'll score too many which come easier than that, Peter, but just look at his movement. He knew instinctively that the keeper would struggle to hold on to it. Benfica making another change here. Paris Saint-Germain take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. That'll be a throw. Samaris. Pizzi. Leaves it over to the other flank. Rafa Silva. that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. And that is that. A huge result, a place in the next round is theirs to lose now. Success on away territory, a lead to protect at home, it is looking really good. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion.